What's better for local merchants than pay-per-click? We know what pay-per-click has done for e-commerce, but 80% of commerce is still done offline. We invented a new way to drive traffic to local businesses, literally, and we call it paper ride. But before I go into paper ride, I want to explain the three things that make it possible today. The first is mobility. Companies like car to go are making car ownership obsolete. And we all know what Uber is doing. They're turning every car into a cab, making the market for taxis even more competitive. The second thing is consumers want convenience. If you study the apps in the world that are most successful, it is those apps that don't make users think. Dirty laundry? Press a button. 30 minutes. You're still single? Swipe to the right. Local business today want performance. Paying for clicks that go to a website or Facebook and then praying for people to show up in your business is really expensive. And Groupon has showed us how much businesses are willing to pay for new customers and get customers in the door guaranteed. They're willing to give away 50% of their profit plus the model for Groupon. So, let us go back to the original question. What's better for local merchants than pay-per-click? It's pay-per-ride. Simply put, local businesses subsidize a taxi ride to their business. It works like uh, AdWords, where businesses put a bid for what the value of a walk-in is worth. And now let me show you how we're taking this model and filling more restaurant tables in Berlin. It's been a long time that I've been wanting to say this. This is Hayride. When you open up the app, you have a curated list of restaurants. What you see in the restaurant is actually the location of the user, and that bid, that determines how far it is. Once inside the app, you can read a mini review of the restaurant, the price, and the menu. One click opens up our concierge service where we start talking. There it is. The concierge calls the restaurant to make sure there's tables. Then the concierge, our staff, calls the cab and gets the cab to the person. And the whole transaction is done without cash because it's done inside the app. You have to give the driver a TAN number, which we know in Germany, and that will pay for the ride. Everything is done inside the app. Three taps, three wins. A win for the restaurant, a win for the consumer, and a win for Hayride. The business model couldn't be more simple. We've spoken to hundreds of restaurants, both in, in, in Germany and back in New York, and it's simple. The businesses are willing to pay more than the cost of the ride. Now, here are the verticals. The first thing we're going after is restaurants. The reason for that is because people do it the most often. After restaurants, in the spring, we're going after the theaters and cinemas. Then, who knows where we'll take it. This model translates into almost any local business. Now, the whole advertising market is $152 billion, but the number that we're focused on is $82 billion. That is what we have figured out is what we call pay-and-pray marketing. That would be clicks to a website and praying that someone shows up. That's clicks to Facebook. 
And we believe this traffic and these revenues are going to come to us because we deliver customers guaranteed. Now, let's talk about what we've done in the past few months. Once we got to the startup boot camp, got everything settled out, we started working and getting our sales flow right. On day one, we reached out to 800 restaurants, cold call emails, if you know what that is. Our response rate was ridiculous. We had 120 replies back about a week later. By the end of the month, we had 40 restaurants signed up. That one we had before we got here. So who's on the bus? I couldn't be happier to say that Dennis, who I stole away from another company, is what we do. Um, he was working at Bill doing sales, and his value to the company is astronomical. He has, he's gotten every single restaurant that's inside the app. My name is Anthony. Uh, my first mobile product that I built was over 10 years ago in New York. I built something for Time Warner, and then since then I've been building mobile apps for Procter & Gamble and Nike, and the list goes on. What's really important about, um, about this is, along the years in both continents, I've built an amazing support network. And many of them are in this room. And there is no way without their help, we could have built a company from scratch in four months. So thank you. Really, four months. But we have some empty seats on this bus. The first is we're looking for someone to do operations while Dennis and I go out there, do more sales, and build a better product. That's our strength. We're looking for an operations guy. The second seat on the bus is for an investor that understands how this vision can change the way local marketing is done around the world. Here's our roadmap. We just closed our beta, and we're looking to launch in the App Store in March. For the months after that, we'll get it tested in Germany. Anyone in the world who's built products knows if the Germans will use it, you have a competitive advantage globally. I'm confident when you look at the size of the market and the speed at which we move, this is an opportunity you do not want to miss. Thank you.